Hello there, and welcome to Rigit Character Setup Tools for Lightwave 3D. Rigit features a highly intuitive setup process that's very easy to follow. First of all, we replace our default object with the mesh that we wish to rig. Setup is easy and straightforward and involves positioning the markers into your character to fit the rig to your character's proportions and shape. The skeleton is shown so as when working you have a good view of how the rig is fitting inside of your character. All of the main joint positions are there for you to mark out and you can move and rotate your markers into position as necessary. You also have markers for the deform system to help create spacing and hold bones which will aid in your character deforms and getting good shaping. And in this manner we can fit and repose our rig into our character mesh. When we're done, we simply hit rig it, and just like that, our character is rigged and ready to go, and we can start posing and animating straight away. We have a full range of IKFK switching, which is fully auto-snapped automatically for us, so when animating you can switch between IK and FK systems seamlessly and easily, and everything just works out wonderfully, with no mess or fuss. Our controls and IK are stable, and all of our deforms hold up really well and give us great shaping in our characters. The really cool thing about Rigget though, is if there's something that we're not happy with and we need to move a joint or something because it's just in the wrong place, we hit Rigget again and it throws us straight back into edit mode. And here we can work on the positions of our joints or the deform setup and so on and switch back and forth between Rig mode and edit mode as much as we like until the cows come home or we're satisfied with our rig, whichever comes soonest. Rigget uses a template system for character rigs. That is to say that there are multiple templates that you can use in your characters. The different templates give different levels or different kinds of control from basic to more advanced systems. This allows you to have quicker, faster acting rigs for those situations where you've got characters who only need to perform a few basic moves in your scene, along with medium level characters that feature a lot more in the way of IKFK switching, as well as those with masses of control over every little thing you could imagine, including auto stretch, quick and simple hand systems for posing your fingers and hand, as well as fingertip IK, which ties in with the entire IK system for the hand, much like a reverse foot. IKFK spine is available for us, which of course can also be made stretchy. Squash and stretch functionality is an inherent part of all of the rigs, and they all have it, and it works with both their FK systems as well as their IK ones. Squash and stretch is of course not just useful for cartoon characters, it can also be good on realistic characters, enabling you to get just the pose that you want, or rather just the silhouette, by moving controllers and offsetting parts just a tiny amount to get the exact shaping required. The IK and FK systems on the characters are of course auto-matched, so you can pose something in IK or FK and seamlessly switch out to the other system. And there are also multiple twist options available for your IK, such as a character space twist control, which can itself be seamlessly switched out to a pole vector control, or world space twist, and this itself can be further seamlessly switched out to the actual IK goal space. And everything runs back and forth completely seamlessly in this fashion, making your IKFK switching when animating a lot more painless and allowing you the choice of either switching on a single frame or to create a blend between one frame and another. The actual rigs are incredibly versatile and incredibly intuitive and animator friendly, allowing you to take your character animation in Lightwave to a really high level with ease and efficiency. Here we see our quadruped rig and we can see just how quick and easy he is to manipulate and pose within our scene. Here we see a quick pass of blocking for a run cycle on our quadruped and we can see the lovely spline action that we've got going on his spine here. Producing motion like this is very simple with this setup because our IK spine is highly automatic in the way that it automatically bends to fit the way that the character is posing. In fact, this entire animation for this run cycle is done with just four keyframes on this one spine item right here and four more on this end spine item and that's it. With nothing more than just those few keyframes, we're able to get a lovely motion going on in our character spine, effortlessly and quickly. And the whole thing works beautifully together, creating very natural posing in our character. The character templates offered in Rigit don't just cover the control systems, they also cover the deform systems. 
and we have two character deform systems available to us in Rigid, the standard deformer and the advanced deformer, seen here. The advanced deformer gives us much better character deformation when we're working on more realistic characters, especially those that have musculature. We can see here on this Hulk character, the action of the arms and shoulders as we move and rotate them around is incredibly natural and works very well, giving us a far superior deformation to what we would normally expect to see in Lightwave on characters such as this one. Our advanced deform system even gives us manual control over certain little parts of the character, like this chest null that gives us our breathing action, which is very useful, or can be used when we get into extreme poses to help correct out the shaping of our torso and yank it about a bit manually. Also included are a couple of face templates to provide you with quick, easy-to-use facial rigs based on a joystick system, a SEPA style. Whilst these templates are pre-built, they are of course not auto-set up in any way. You do still have to model the correct set of morphs for them, but once that is done, the template copies directly onto your character in a less than a minute. And there are two of these templates to choose from. A more basic one for very quick modeling of morphs and setup, and a slightly more advanced one that requires more morphs but gives far greater control over shaping within your rig, as well as quick and easy options for lip syncing your characters when you need to make them talk. Rigid also allows you the option for rigging in a number of poses, from a standard T pose to almost any pose you like at all. This allows you a lot of options and versatility when rigging up characters of different physiologies or different modeling design, especially in a more current character pipeline, where an awful lot of assets will come from ZBrush or similar, where artists don't always want to model or sculpt in a standard T pose. We see here this little fawn-like character who has ungulate style legs, this being the hip, this being the knee, this being the ankle, and this here being the toe. He effectively walks on his toenails, similar to a cow or a horse. But Rigget limbs handle this just fine, with no problems whatsoever. And the entire foot system works nicely with the whole thing. When I say a very wide variety of characters can be rigged in this way, I really do mean it. Note here our good old Ed209 who we have. It makes no difference that his knees are pointing backwards to a conventional biped, because whichever way you pose up your rigger in Rigget is the way that the IK will work. We're also able to use the squash and stretch system that's built into Rigget to give his leg extension effect, which is very handy. Obviously, to produce a rig like this requires a few user-based customizations, mainly to do with the weight options, and which geometry is tied to which controller. But aside from that, we can see the great versatility on offer here in a variety of characters. And if it's real proof of the non-standard that you're after, then how about something like this? Even this character isn't a problem for Rigget. Put your pieces into position, and away he goes, working just fine. Makes no difference that things are in a strange pose or a strange position, it all works out just perfectly, and we don't have any problems whatsoever with him. Showing again the great range of versatility that you can get with a Rigget rig. How about this fellow, of course? The Lewis Santos mutant from the New Tech Creature Kit on the New Tech site. A lovely little character, to be sure, but of course he is pre-modelled into this pose. He's not been rigged and posed, this is just how he comes in in Modeler. Now, of course, normally only a complete idiot would actually try to rig a character that has been posed in such a fashion. However, as luck would have it, I am indeed such an idiot. And so Rigget has actually been created to allow us to start rigging characters in just about any pose, even crazy poses like this. And as we can see, everything works really well, despite the base pose of this character. Our control system works perfectly without popping or flipping, and our deforms are handling very nicely as well. Such is the scope of performance that we can get out of Rigget. We really are able to do things that otherwise would just seem impossible or just take far too much work to bother doing. The other handy part about, of course, rigging in any pose like this is when you do get a character who is pre-modeled into a set pose and you want to be able to rig him up properly for animation, rig it gives you an excellent way to slap a rig in to be able to put it back into a regular bind pose such as a T pose. Of course, having done such nifty things with our character, we can then go ahead and animate it or slap some FBX motion onto it to get our motion capture running with the rig it rig. And and get the advantage of the Rigget Deform Skeleton, along with the speed and ease of applying motion capture. 
And that is because, aside from the regular hand animation templates, Rigit also offers an FBX template, which will set up an FBX skeleton in your character for you, which has the Rigit Deform rig bound to it as well. Here we see the layout of our FBX hierarchy. It is, of course, just a standard FBX joint hierarchy, but in Rigit it takes the place of the control system. And so, of course, the deform system that is laid on top is what actually deforms our character, not the FBX system. This allows us to bring motion capture into Lightwave and get good quality deforms without all of the difficulties with weighting and other similar setup problems that we often get when working with motion capture in Lightwave. And this, of course, allows you to exchange animation data into Lightwave from popular packages for motion capture, like Motion Builder or Animeeple. As if all of this wasn't enough, Rigit also comes with handy little tools to help us working with our characters during animation, in the form of user-customizable scripts. If we take a look again at our hound doing his little run, we can see that here I'm cranking out just under 10.5 frames a second. Now normally this is a bit quicker because I do of course have recording software going on here. And I am also working on a modest 2.4 GHz laptop. Now, such excuses aside, let's take a look at what happens when we bring a second character into the scene. Lightwave, of course, is well known for slowing down when you get multiple characters in a single scene. And we can see that at this point I have crashed to 1.85 frames a second. Pretty much unacceptable and a real roadblock to a good animation workflow. Rigget, however, comes to my rescue here in the form of these character-specific scripts, which are user-customizable for your own characters. For instance, here, I have my rig on-off script, which if I switch it off, will disable the rig for the dog entirely, leaving only the FK actions in place, all of the IK killed, and all of the deform structure also killed off, and we can see that I've jumped up to five and a half frames a second. At any point I want, I can go and switch him back on. And there we go. Both characters are active again. In this manner, you can create your own user-customizable scripts to turn on and off features of characters or entire characters, enabling working with multiple characters in a single scene a lot less painless and giving you a lot, lot better performance than you would normally get out of Lightwave by itself. There's just one last thing I want to show you with Rigit, and that's the compatibility. We have seen that the big watchwords for Rigit are efficiency and speed of workflow, as well as animator-friendly intuitive setups. But that's not all there is to Rigit, because of course it is fully Lightwave native once your rigs are set up, and the entire setup process itself is a Lightwave native action. What this means is that Rigit is fully compatible with other plugins and tools that you might be using in Lightwave, especially some of the more common tools that we would associate with animating in Lightwave. For instance, the Timothy Alby plugins for post copying and pasting. We can, in Rigit, easily select all of our controllers, post copy them, and of course, pose paste in mirror if we like, using the mirror pose. And it works completely perfectly. And this extends to other plugins as well. For instance, if you use Maestro for its animation system, you can take Maestro's character panel and associate it with the different control items that are in the Rigit rig, and that will also work. As well as that, for all those folks out there who like working in IK Booster, you can use the FBX rigs along with IKB, and they will work perfectly well. And of course, the deform system that is built into Rigit will work seamlessly with such a setup, giving you IKBoost compatible rigs that also offer the great deforms delivered by Rigit. And all in all, that's pretty much all there is to say. If you're looking for a robust, easy to use, an intuitive option for setting up and rigging your characters in Lightwave 3D, whether that's body, face, motion capture, or any of the other options, then Rigit really is the tool for you. And with a range of versions and licenses, there's something here for everybody. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now.